long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Remember everything you said Had to go on dreaming Dreaming Cause baby you are everywhere I wish that you were here Cause I don't want nobody else I'm not afraid to be alone, new beginnings I'm not afraid to overcome every feeling that I have So take me in your arms There's nothing can really hurt us Unless we let it grow Forget about the past Maybe we can make it last It's better when it's me and you No matter what I do There's nothing like Chilling with my girls Just me and my divas Taking over the world. Yeah. Hey, 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 Let me tell you now, D. I. B. A. S. Guys, what's up, Divas? What's up, Devos? Happy holidays. By the time y'all see this, of course, Christmas is going to be gone and over, but. I'm still going to say happy holidays because, shit, Christmas is, like, more than a month long, girl. I start celebrating Christmas, like, during Thanksgiving, okay? That's when you're about to put up all your little activities, your little floaties, your little inflatables. That's that's what I do. You know what I mean? That's when I do it. And I did record myself doing that, but, girl, I've been so busy lately with, like, so many different projects, like, for myself. I have my own little hobbies. I told y'all before, I like to make jewelry. I like to make charms. I like to do a lot of different things. I like to make wigs just because I wear them doesn't mean I don't like to make them. You know, you sit back, you chill, you have yourself a nice glass of wine or even look, hello, a dollar Corona. Yes, reduce. But you know what I'm saying? You sit back, you chill, you watch TV, you drink a little bit of wine or a Corona, smoke a little bit of weed or whatever. And you make you a wig, you make you some jewelry, girl love. You even make you some gibbets. Now, first of all, first of all, let me just tell y'all this real quick before I go any further. I'm like the gibbet queen. I love gibbets. I love me some Crocs, but I also got a pair of Frocks, fake Crocs. That's what I call them, like the Walmart ones. They cute and all. You know, Crocs and Frocks, yes, hunties. But I love gibbets. I like to decorate them. So, girl, while I was in here, I was making some gibbets and also making some charm. But that's what I like to do. So, you know, that's what I've been doing lately. That's why y'all haven't really seen too many videos. You know, I, I try to multitask. And plus, I try to do stuff that make me feel good and relaxed. Like, I really do love to do the videos, girl. Like, let's not get it twisted. But I get tired of sitting in front of a computer editing a video at times. I really do. So I try to step away. And my step away is making a wig or making some jewelry or jibbing it up my damn shoes. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this video because I know how to ramble on enough. Okay, E F enough. Now, I've worked with this company this twice, I think. So, this is probably like the third time. A shaman, ah, oh, God. I really be wanting to call them Ashy Mary, but why would you call your website Ashy Mary? Because that's definitely not the name. But if you really was to, you know, sound it out, you would say it was Ashy Mary. But I had said it right the second time, shimmery hair. That sounds a little bit more better, a little bit, you know, a little bit more razzle dazzle to it, a shimmery hair instead of Ashy Mary, because like, <laughs> Really don't shimmery. And if that's not the right way to say it, then girl, I don't know what to tell you. Remember when this shirt used to fit me real loose back in the day, like a couple of years ago. But you know, it is what it is. It still fit. You know, that's what you do when you get a size five X and you really want it to be big, you can grow into it. Go figure. Let's just say
right, you guys, happy new years. So I'm gonna just do a split screen in this video. You know, I try to save time, try to save time, try to save money, okay? But anyway, you guys, so on the left, as you see, I'm just pressing the unit. I'm trying to make the hairline as flat as possible. You know, flush right to the hairline, to the skin of my own natural hairline. That way, once it's flat as possible, it'll kind of look like it's rooted, you know, scalpage kind of like. But for the unit, you know, I did bleach the unit. I left the bleach on for probably like a little bit over an hour and some of the knots lifted. Now on the right side, I just customized the unit a little bit. It was a little too big for me, overlapping my ear and we definitely want the wig to fit flat and flush to our head. So I did take the unit i did part that extra piece of lace and cut it off this is not gonna just destroy the wig trust me girl you will thank me later but as you see you know i'm just using my small curved scissors to cut and remove the lace off the hairline this lace is called transparent but that being said you probably like transparent girl we can see it it's definitely seeable it's more or less like a transparent lace that can somewhat uh blend to all skin tones you know what i'm saying skin complexion is this was definitely before the HD, undetectable, invisible, where's the lace lace kind of type lace. This is, you know, transparent. Not too transparent, but for some skin tones, it's a lot more easier to blend. Now, I decided to use my, you know, Isha hairspray. You know about the Janet collection. I love this hairspray. I try to hold on to it because I only got this one little can here. And I decided to use it for this. Now, the trick of the trade to this is any hairspray or glue, you want to make sure that the first layer gets tacky prior to applying the second layer say second layer of hairspray or glue so that's why i'm just touching it. i want to see how tacky it's getting i did put on three layers now also the trick to this is some lace is a little bit thick okay and it won't apply as you would like it to now back to the left side i got my tweezers right here and i'm actually thinning the actual hairline of the lace front with that's the reason why I got her in a headlock and I'm pulling out hair. We're not having a fight, girl. I'm just, you know, trying to thin this bad boy out. Now, as you see me right here on the right, once again, I'm trying to press the wig into the actual hairspray, which was the Isha Janet Collection hairspray. Okay, that was the whole main goal as to apply this unit. But like I said, some lace is a little bit thicker than most lace. And this is a pretty thicker lace. So I decided to go in with my handy dandy girl, Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray to make sure that this sleigh would lay, at least try to. And this hairspray is great for any type of lace, as I noticed. It easily dries, quick drying, okay? Very disappearing, sweetheart, and very affordable. Okay, very, very affordable. So sometimes what I have to do is I also have to spray a little bit of hairspray on either my tail end comb, the, the tail end of my comb, or on top of the actual lace. So as you've seen, I did put it underneath the lace, but because this lace is thicker, you're gonna see right here as I sprayed it on top of the lace. There are tricks to every damn lace that I've noticed over these years. And it seems like some of them you do not wanna add heat to because if you do, girl, you are gonna see that damn lace. And this is one of those type of laces that you do not wanna really add heat to. You just gotta make sure that it dries and you wanna use a comb and you wanna take your time and you wanna do it slowly, slowly, and slowly. This is one of those wigs where girl, you need patience. So on to the left side, I just decided, I'm just gonna wear this wig straight. Y'all don't really see me too much in too many straight styles. And with this balayage color, I thought it would look really, really cute. Came out super duper smooth. But just to take those flyaways down a little bit that was just pissing me off, I'm gonna use some of my dark and lovely hair oil also to give it a little shine, okay? Razzle dazzle that bad boy. And right here on the right, because of the rootage, you know, I like dark roots, but it wasn't giving me that scalpage kind of look because of the actual lace color. I had to put a little bit of my Ardell camouflage concealer on it. Girl, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, boo, okay? And it also helped. This is the part that's just fun, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and just allow it to get a little bit loose, or tighter, or more flatter to my skin on my head girl be careful when you're using a hot comb but i also did like to put it in the middle or where the concealer is i do like to rub the hot comb in between there and it'll allow the concealer to melt a little bit and also you know little trick just 
make sure that your concealer or pressed powder is blended in real good you don't want it to look like it's sitting on top of the unit but y'all know the rest from here on girl i'm gonna just you know say this i hope you all have like a very merry christmas okay and a happy new year it's 2023 let's bring it in in a positive note okay no, no toxic i know sometimes toxic drama is entertaining and it can be but i'm gonna just say this try to avoid it as much as possible you it's not good for your spirit even though it's entertaining at times it's not good for your spirit and i just hope that you all have a super super safe super amazing blessed 2023 you guys and with that being said we're just gonna continue on with this video and i will see y'all in a minute in the comments below i long for that feeling why did it have to go away i long for that feeling Remember everything you said I do go on dreaming Dreaming This baby you are everywhere I wish that you were here Cause I don't want nobody else I'm not afraid to be alone no beginnings i'm not afraid to overcome every feeling that i have so take me in your arms all right so let's talk about the length of time it took me to like make this wig presentable it's like first of all call me the lace doctor okay just call me the lace wig doctor the lace doctor not the lace wig but the lace doctor because girl i be trying and i be trying to work around all types of lace so that way it'll melt honey you gotta know how to melt it so this was a little bit different and a little bit tricky only because of the kind of like money piece in the front that's what they call it like the money piece in the front i did have to bleach the unit because it was not bleached now mind you all of the knots did not lift so you know i had to put a little razzle dazzle makeup on it and make it look as natural as possible on certain areas but because of the lace like you gotta know how to melt like certain lace because this lace is not super super duper thin it's not like a swiss or hd it's just lace okay it is um transparent lace so for me i know that like with certain lace you cannot put heat to it and i was not trying to put heat to this one by blow drying it so you know a shimmery hair because that's what it's called today i like the color blend i love the density of it i wish i would have sold in an elastic band because it would have made it a little bit tighter but whatever it did fit nice you know i got me a little quite few extra little sideburns baby hair sideburns to add to the collection on that note i will leave all of shimmery's hair information wig website down below i hope y'all have like a really nice holidays less holidays or your family family is very very important to me and i enjoy the holidays a lot especially christmas time because i'm allowed well uh, yeah i'm allowed to decorate because you know the hoa would not like my christmas decorations all year round but for christmas for me it's a really you know it's an important time of the year for me and i enjoy spending time with my family so make sure that you know you let your loved ones know you love them be peaceful be mindful and just be loving and enjoy your holidays and be safe and be blessed Oh,